Hey guys, so the question is, can you still get reasonable offers on Uber Eats with having a lower acceptance rate? And the answer is yes. My acceptance rate is currently 18%. Now granted, it's been lower. It kind of fluctuates as I'm sure your guys' acceptance rates fluctuates as well. Um, let me know what your current acceptance rate is on Uber Eats. Again, mine's 18%. So as soon as I turned on Uber Eats, I got a good offer right off the bat. Now, sometimes I do have to decline until I get a reasonable offer, but love it when I can start off with a good reasonable offer. $7.89 for 3.6 miles for Chick-fil-A. We're going to head in here now, go check in, and hopefully the order's ready. I bet. Uh, all right, order is ready. Yes, it is. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Always nice it That's sure right. is. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Have a good Have a day. Good you too. Yeah. All right, guys, order was ready. Love it when the order is ready. The other thing I was going to mention to you guys, a couple things, actually. I woke up with a crick in my neck this morning. Um, a lot, I shouldn't say a lot better, but a, a little bit better than this morning. Uh, you know, the husband massaged my neck. We did Tiger Balm, heating pad, the whole works. And now I've had to take some Tylenol just to get out here. Um, but I'm going to get it done. I'm coming out here to get it done. Have you guys ever had to come out here, you know, with your you're a crick in your neck or like your back messed up. I've actually delivered before with a sprained ankle like a few summers ago. I mean my husband were out riding our long boards and I sprained my ankle and it was during those times where I had goals and I just came out and got it done but you know it kind of you move a little bit slower. Anyways the husband's driving you can probably tell that I'm in the passenger seat. Let's go get this customer's order dropped off. A six minutes 2.1 miles we're on our way. Right, guys so orders dropped off so the customer notes said not to ring the doorbell because the baby's sleeping which I've mentioned before I don't ring the doorbell unless specified in the notes but I get up there and I'm sure you guys heard the dog heard me the dog's going off and she's trying to get the dog to be quiet you know there's nothing I can do the dog usually can hear us you know when we pull up but um hopefully the baby didn't get woken up anyways on the way to dropping off this customer's food uber eats sent me an offer as they usually like to do when you're you know getting really close two dollars 21 cents for two miles that's an absolute no decline literally right after that almost to the customers they finally send me another reasonable offer it looks like it's going to be a good day nine dollars 32 cents for three 3.1 miles for 7-Eleven. We are heading there right now. And uh, you know, 7-Eleven, it's a nice day out. Sometimes when it's a nice day out, there is a line in there. I'm hoping that's not the case, um, but we're heading there now. We're gonna go check in. The Uber Eats orders ready yet? I'll check it out. Okay, thank you. Awesome, thank you. All right, guys, so I go in there, there's a line. I was waiting in line patiently. And I seen another employee in there mopping, so I asked him if by chance my order was ready. I didn't see anything where they usually keep the orders at, so I was figuring it probably wasn't. He went and checked, sure enough it wasn't. They're pretty busy, so I'm not surprised, but he whipped it out quick, which is much appreciated. Customer is five minutes, 2.2 miles. They did leave some notes. They are in an apartment, and uh, we're gonna go get this order dropped off. All right, to the third floor. All right. 
right, guys, smooth drop off for the most part. So we get to the apartment complex and we've delivered there many, many times. Customer left me some notes because I see why now, because you could not verify their building where the GPS's pinpoint was. And we're at the gas station. My husband's washing the windshield if you hear a noise, uh, needed gas, but you couldn't verify the building because the carports are blocking the building number in, in some apartment complex. It's, e it's either trees or it's a carport and you can't see it unless you get out and verify. Anyways, customer left me some really detailed notes. It made sense that I was at the right building. So I grabbed their order, verified that I was at the right building and uh, got it dropped off. They were on the third floor, but no big deal. Got me a little bit of stairs in. Um, so all is well, we are getting some gas and then we're gonna see what else we can line up. All right, guys, literally after I got done saying what I was saying, Uber Eats started ringing in, got me a good one. The orders are coming in tonight. It's a nice night out and uh, people are ordering, you know, sometimes when it's nice out, you wonder if people are going to barbecue and stuff because sometimes they do or they're outdoors, but they are ordering and the offers have been reasonable, which I absolutely love. This is what came in $11.06 for 5.9 miles for Mr. Bento. We're going to, uh, my husband's finishing filling up. We're going to pull out of here and uh, go pick up this order, get these wheels back to moving. Hi, Hi. Uh, picking up for Katrina B with Uber Eats. For Katrina, yes. just a few more minutes. A few more minutes? Okay, yeah. thank, right, you. thank you. Cool. Awesome, thank you. You too. All right, guys, a little under a five minute wait. They're still working on the order when I went in there. So I did mark the order not ready. Um, a customer is in a house 12 minutes, 5.4 miles. They did leave some notes not to knock or ring, which I've mentioned again, I don't do unless specified to do so in the notes. Uh, so let's go get their food dropped off. We're on our way. Right, guys another smooth drop off for the most part only thing is so I take a photo as we usually do with leave it doors and I'm walking away trying to go through the prompts and the wheel spinning 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 get back in the car and it's spinning so I close out of all my apps finally it goes back of course the photo's not there anymore that I had taken so I ended up leaving a note that I left at door and closed the order out that way um, but sometimes it does that you'll take a photo and then everything like freezes up you'll go back in there and the photo's gone regardless I have a photo in my phone for my records I always usually take a screenshot um, of the screen so I have it for my records as well as recording um, because you do want proof that you did indeed drop it off, especially when things like that happen. Um, also there's, you know, you could wear a body cam too. I use my GoPro as many of you guys know, um, but if you're looking for a body cam that's discreet and it also records very well during the day, but also very well at night, I do have a link down below in the description. Um, always nice to have proof, you know, that you did indeed drop it off at the right location. Anyways, tonight has been an awesome night. It's beautiful out. The weather's like perfect and um, the orders have been coming in reasonable offers only had to decline a few unreasonable offers my kind of night but I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys right here always so so much appreciate you guys riding along with me and of course if you did enjoy the ride along do give the video a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one bye guys